Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ in front of you. So what is the major product of this reaction? Four options are provided. I request you student, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please don't hesitate. Whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. Remember self-evaluation is essential for improvement, that's why you should try. And don't worry, after some time you will get the right answer with mechanism. I believe you have tried by yourself, it's my turn to give you the answer. Before going to details, this is the reference from where I have taken this problem. So, so the question is, this is actually a tropolone, you can see, this is a conjugated ketone. It reacts with influence of excess sodium borohydride, what is the product? Generally, we know that sodium borohydride is actually a reducing agent and this ketone undergo reduction in terms of sodium borohydride to the corresponding alcohol. So, the question, what is the right product here? So, before going to details, I want you should know about the mechanism. The mechanism is this hydride first attacks here. It comes here it comes here, it comes here and it opens and ultimately it produces first reduction product. This is the incoming hydride and this if you look at it is actually an enolate. So first it will be protonated by water to corresponding enol and we know this enol can undergo keto enol tautomerism. So in this way it will produce an another isolated ketone. I am saying this ketone is not in conjugation with any double bond and as I told this ketone could be reduced in terms of sodium borohydride because this hydride can act as nucleophile. So this hydride will attack here as usual it can open. So this is and after workup it will produce this secondary alcohol. Okay. So this is now the biggest or most complicated question why? the attack happens at this position why so let's understand this so if you look at the canonical forms this is actually this ketone or this tropolone what you have taken it can have a canonical form because this charge can go and it can produce this positive and negative charge separated species now in the subsequent stage this double bond can come here a negative charge will come here not only that it can come here and ultimately it can ultimately it can produce this means positive charge is here this is the double bond this is the double bond this so not only this in the next step you can expect that this double bond can come here so what it will produce it will produce this so this is the double bond the hit there is one there is one and this is O minus and the positive charge is here. Now see here the positive charge. So that's why nucleophilic attack happened at this position. Point number one second. You can say that sir, why this? Why this? Because uh, you can say that sir, nucleophilic attack can happen here also. Why not? Because then also this three double bond remain unaffected. It's true. But just see here also this is one two three double bond is in conjugation not only that this lone pair of oxygen of four is also in conjugation more conjugation more delocalization more stabilization and that's why reaction is preferred to happen on this and second thing is also that this carbon this carbon what we are talking is closer to the carbonyl carbon also so from the minus i effect point of view also you can say it's relatively more electron deficient. So reaction will happen in this way and ultimately what is the answer? The answer is option D. Now student, if this question appeared in the exam less than 30 seconds, how can you solve the question? Actually student, I have given you an easy problem, easy options. Instead of that, this option could also have given this also. Then the problem became little tricky. So I made this problem a little easier. So the question, in presence of sodium borohydride, what will produce, what will the reaction happen? For that purpose, you need to understand that, you need to understand that where the negative part will attack. So this carbonyl attack, 
option possible but i did not mention so nowhere so you can from these hints you can understand that this reactivity is not similar like as other so for that purpose the second thing is you need to understand the delocalization pattern of this molecule and where the maximum conjugation will maintain this is and these also have a concept this such kind of reactivity student it is also named a principle of vinylogy means the property of a particular bond or group or atom is shifted by the presence of vinyl group i mean electronic property so this see all are in conjugation so that's why this for example if you look at very easier case this is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so this is alpha beta so this carbon is electrophilic not only that this beta carbon is also electron deficient electrophilic so this is because of this principle of vinyl which i have already make a dedicated lecture please visit for better understanding now so let's come to this problem see sodium borohydride excess all they have given so this is not possible it's an illogical option if you look at these this is not possible because sodium borohydride reduces carbonyl to alcohol this is an aldehyde you so this is not possible so now competition is option c versus option d option c also difficult two double bond but if you know the proper mechanism you can select this option c and d and that's why i suggest please read this problem carefully so this option you can consider this d is the right answer so but before going to the end some additional information that is aromaticity of tropon so this molecule is tropon actually this is aromatic and if you want to compare you should know the corresponding this non aromatic or you can say simple analog so this is actually a seven member ketone because that one is a seven member aromatic derivative so this is student aromatic this compound is aromatic why because if you look at this canonical form means this charge this charge separation it produces this ring here you can see 2 2 2 6 pi electron cyclic planar conjugated so based on huckel's theory this is aromatic and in this aromatic structure charge separation is there so that's why this has a significantly high dipole moment and its value is near about 4.17 student because if you compare this value with the cycloheptanone means this one the value is 3.0 so from that thing you can consider that how much contribution of this aromaticity is there for this dipole moment because the charge separated species is stabilized due to aromaticity but if you compare the charge uncharged species generally we say its contribution more but if you look at so here also one and rest molecule six so seven pi electrons are there so based on that it's not aromatic okay but this canonical form has aromatic stabilization so contribution of this canonical form will be significantly higher that's why you can see the aromatic this dipole moment value is also higher so in conclusion what you have learned today that tropon is an aromatic ketone with higher dipole moment due to the aromatic stabilization of the charge separated species second this it's actually a conjugated carbonyl compound this tropon now next nucleophilic attack can happen on the tropon on the carbon atom adjacent to carbonyl carbon and this concept you can understand more by using principle of vinylogy okay and this enols can undergo tautomerism to ketone and further got reduced because if you look at this enols are not electron deficient but ketones are okay so this unconjugated this carbonyl group is more electron deficient than conjugated counterpart because if you look at this part this is a simple thing this and if you look at its conjugated counterpart this so because of this conjugation by this double bond the electron deficiency of this carbonyl carbon reduces so that's the thing i want to say so if the if this carbon is more electron deficient so more active for nucleophilic attack okay so this is the end of discussion i believe this video may be useful please write your opinion in the comment box and if you consider my content is worthy then please help this channel to grow and i request you to visit my another channel where i upload global warming and climate change related videos so thanks for watching stay happy stay blessed see you